Hi, thank you for tuning in. My name is Graham Wallace and I'm a solicitor advocate with Wallace Solicitors Limited. One of the areas of law that uh, we do a lot of working is, is in military law. And uh, the military jurisdiction differs quite considerably from the civilian uh, non-military jurisdiction. Just to start at the beginning, uh, matters in the military jurisdiction are normally investigated by the Royal Military Police or in some circumstances the Military of Defence Police, not uh, the uh, regular constabularies. So the Royal Military Police interview matters in a, quite a different way um, and their powers are somewhat different. So for example, there is no power to issue a police caution in the way that uh, civilian uh, police have that uh, option available to them if somebody makes the mission and interviewing the caution. There's no option to um, resolve a matter by way of caution. Likewise, there is no equivalent to the magistrate's court in the military court system. The idea, I think, behind it being that matters normally dealt with by a magistrate magistrate's court in the civilian world would normally be dealt with by way of a commanding officer's summary hearing in a military setting. Of course the military do have their own courts and do have their own uh, prosecuting authority, the service prosecuting authority based at RAF Oxbridge outside of London. The service prosecuting authority is, is responsible as the name suggests for bringing prosecutions in a military setting. Uh, currently, there are a number of military court centres. Uh, there is one in Bulford, there is another in Colchester, uh, another one in Catterick that covers Scotland and the north. Currently, there are also military court centres at Senelager in Germany, at RAF Aldergrove in Northern Ireland, and at uh, RAF Nelson in Portsmouth. And there is also the facility to hold court martials anywhere in the in the world, but frequently, for example, in Cyprus, there is also that facility available. Court martials uh, differ from civilian crown court in quite a number of ways. Perhaps the most significant being the absence of a jury. In the civilian system, twelve lay members of the public make up a jury and they are responsible for deciding whether an individual is guilty or not guilty. In the court-martial system, it's uh, quite different in that um, there is a board made up of anywhere between three and seven army officers or military officers or warrant officers. And you can perhaps appreciate that the civilian uh, uh, Crown Court system is designed so that an individual is judged by his or her peers. Twelve members of the uh, public uh, called to do duty, jury service. In the court martial system, you can imagine that a private soldier, or perhaps a lance corporal or a lance bombardier, uh, faces uh, court martial and uh, his or her. Uh, guilt or uh, innocence is determined not by members of his or her peer group uh, but by um, officers and warrant officers who are considerably higher in rank uh, than they are. So the court martial system is a very different setup from the civilian system. It tries to mirror it as far as possible but the board, for example, will be made up typically of maybe a lieutenant colonel, a major, a sergeant major, maybe a couple of captains, or RAF or Royal Navy equivalents. And they are responsible for determining uh, whether the charge or the indictment is made out. If it is made out, then the sentencing available to the court-martial system is also uh, quite different because the military have the option of imposing a period of detention rather than imprisonment, and that's quite a different system. Imprisonment, of course, means being sent to prison. Detention, in a court-martial context, means being sent to the Military Corrective Training Centre at Colchester. Uh, MCTC 
whose response will take uh, members from any of the three forces uh, up to uh, a period of uh, 24 months in detention. And so that option is available as well, of course, for more serious offences as uh, sending somebody into a regular civilian prison.